The Blue Springs School District is urging parents to remind their children what they say or do on social media really matters. This comes after the district confirmed a fourth hit list has been circulating within the district. This one found at Paul Kinder Middle School. The principal sent parents this statement about the list saying, quoting here, the social media conversation about being paid to beat each other up includes only those students within the group chat. The group of friends within the discussion had no intention of acting upon their conversation. But KCTV 5's Carolina Cruz has been following this story for us. And Carolina, tell us the reaction of a parent you spoke with who has a freshman on that list. Yeah, and she's asked us to not use her name just to protect her daughter, but she says that she wanted to share her experience. Over the weekend, this Blue Springs School District mom saw a disturbing post on social media. Someone was asking other parents if they had heard of a hit list. More than two dozen students being targeted with a bounty put on their head and what their, I guess, transgression was, how much you would get paid if you beat them up. Her daughter's name was on one. She shared this image with us of the list posted on social media. We've blurred the names and derogatory terms. You can see the dollar amounts to the right. My daughter's also, she's got some special education classes, so she tends to be a target. She was in a fight last week, one day before the district says they knew about the list. I'm having a very hard time believing that the two aren't related. Her daughter attends the freshman campus where the district confirmed at least three lists were circulating. <sighs> I was kind of in disbelief, you know, like first off, I couldn't believe such a, a list would exist. Why in the world would anybody do that to a kid? The district is investigating a similar list at Paul Kinder Middle School. Administrators are working with the district's public safety department and the police department. There's no reason for this. No kid deserves to wake up in the morning and wonder if someone's going to attack them that day. She wants the district to find out who created the hit list punishment for those students and for the students to realize targeting and bullying is unacceptable. It's infuriating to see that it has gone this far and that kids would actually go to this extent to hurt other kids. The mom we spoke with says that she's heard from other parents who are concerned for their child's safety at school. She's also heard from other students who say they are also worried. And the district says that they found the list to not be credible, and we asked them to elaborate on that. The spokesperson says they have found no reason to believe that the list have any valid validity based on the investigations. Reporting in Blue Springs, I'm Carolina Cruz, KCTV 5 News. Credible or not, it's still disturbing. Carolina, thank you.